I have to say, Langston University was by far one of my favorite performances in the Battle of the Bands. Last week, I was able to cover the Battle of the Bands for my internship, focusing more so not on the sports side, but on the culture side of things, so what us as a people enjoy. Things that it taught me was pretty much that, you know, it's not all about black sports. It's not all about sports as a whole. It's about communication. Communication is so very important as far as getting to certain events like these. You have to communicate how to get your credentials, as well as how people want to be interviewed, as well as how people want to be covered. This was more so of a video coverage for me, just because of the fact that there was a lot of visuals, more so than interviews, period. There were bands dancing, crowd engagement, and this was just very much so one of the best events that I've covered during my internship so far, just because of the fact that it was fun. It was different. And I liked it. I was just around my culture, my people. And for the most part, I've just learned so much from this experience, whether that being interviewing 2 Chains, whether that being submitting my questions for Ricky Smiley and other guests. It was just an exciting moment for me. Down the line, I understand that in this career field, I have to be able to communicate in order to be able to attend events just like this to get my questions in or even just to interview certain people, period. And now here's some of the press conference of Ricky Smiley and guests. In the, you know, in the Roosevelt room. Yeah. And our president Obama was like, okay, who wants to hang out in the Oval Office? She over here talking, oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man! Oh, man, you going to get us yeah. kicked out. <laughs> and we went to the Oval Office and hung out for about a good 30, 40, like, yeah. we kicked it. Yeah. It was yeah. Bunny Eye, um, Reverend Al. Uh-huh, um, Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. We had a great time. That was a great experience. It was great. my sister. After the Battle of the Bands coverage, I was also able to be highlighted by my internship, Anscape, by speaking about some of the Black History Month trailblazers that I feel that are important, besides the main people, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, and Rosa Parks. And I'm a proud mass communications major at the Alabama State University. And I'm also part of the 2022 Rhoda Fellowship class. Today, I just want to highlight not one, but two trailblazers in history that I feel like the most important to black history today, especially in the black culture. I want to highlight Huey P. Newton and Bobby Sealy, AKA the co-founders of the Black Panthers. The Black Panthers did so much for the community back in 1966 when they were first founded, all the way up until they were disbanded. I just want to say, that they stood for some of the most important things back then and some of the most important things that we need today. Truth be told, they stood up to black police brutality. Also, they stood up for the kids, providing medical clinics and free breakfast for them to make sure they get to school every day. They stood up for the future, as well as they didn't take anything from anybody. Truth be told, for me, I just feel like they're the most important because they did so much for the community. They started from just two black men wanting to change. And truth be told, that's honestly, why they're the most important thing to me besides Malcolm X, besides Martin Luther King, besides Rosa Parks, they made a difference in the community. And that's what's important. 